All right, let's see how you can easily and quickly list your place even using Airbnb. So this is travel.mondosol.com and this is list your place page where you can find all the information if you are new to Mondosol and you want to list your place, any place, a room, a house, a villa, whatever it is that you have to rent. And then I want to show you how you need to do to get started. You click here and you basically join Mondosol. If you don't have an account, you create one. Okay, very simple, the sign up process. You just need to put your first and last name and then email. And you will receive, when you click send, an email confirmation. You need to just click the link and you will be directed inside Mondosol. And I'm gonna show you this just right now. So you can either log in if you already have an account or create one, and then you will go inside Mondosol, which is this. It's powered by a company called Logi5. And then you will basically have, once you are inside Mondosol, your account here with some basic information about your account and then the help center so you can learn everything you need to learn about the software that we use in Mondosol which is Logify and then you will have a menu here well you have some of those options now you're looking at admin account and you will have reservations calendar rentals reviews and settings so now we want to see how to list a, a rental, a property inside Mondosol. And we basically, once we click in rental, we can then click create a rental. And this is the first step. Here, Mondosol is gonna ask you if you have an existing rental in Airbnb. And we can import your rental in just a few clicks. So what you need to do, if you have one rental in Airbnb, you just need to click yes, import from Airbnb. Then it will come this type of message that basically will ask you what rental do you want to import from Airbnb? And you need to log in with your Airbnb account. So right now I'm logged in with Mondosol account, but you can also log in with your Airbnb account connected with Mondosol and then you can import your listings from your Airbnb account into Mondosol. It's very, very easy. I'm showing you right now with one example, okay? So if I want, for example, to import one listing from our account, okay? We will choose one of the listing that we only have in Airbnb and we don't have in Mondosol. So right now we just created one listing. It's not showing here at the moment. So I'm going to refresh the page. And if you have the same problem, please also refresh the page with F5 on your keyboard, or you can just click the symbol here for refreshing your browser and then search again. And you should be able even to search. Yes, search for the listing. Okay, I know it's called like this. And it's this listing here, okay? So we're gonna select it and click import. And now we are importing the rental from our Airbnb account into Mondosol. So it, it, it should just take a few minutes, like you said, so bear with us while the magic happens. And Thank you, thank you very much for trusting on the soul to help you with your listing and your life. We are here to serve you, so you can also in Mondosol find the help section. You can contact us. We have basically different way you can contact us. There is a form if you are traveling or if you are hosting with Mondosol. We have also frequently asked questions and a course on how to manage your property. And we're gonna answer you basically when you fill up this form or you contact us by email or phone, all the questions you might have, okay? So if we basically go back 
to Mondo Sol, you will see that congratulations, your listing has been imported. Now make sure you complete the room types and rates because we couldn't import the following information. The room types, the rates, information about the arriving time, maximum, maximum nights or discount are not imported. Okay, so make sure you configure those in Logify, which is the software power monosol. Okay, the room type amenity also are missing. So don't forget to add them too. Okay, so you can import another rental or you can go to your rental, the one you just imported. Okay, so you got all other information. You got the photos, you got the description. Then if we go and find it, you can search for it or if you just have one, you will see it immediately. And it's this one, okay, already published in Mondosol. And you can see we got the title, the description, the rental type. We haven't got the square meter or square feet just because in Airbnb you don't have to put it. But we got the number of guests, number of unit, the sleeping arrangement. We need to select also the number of rooms. So not everything gets selected, but you can easily, you know, go and change it based on the listing that you have in Airbnb, you don't need to recreate everything from, from scratch. It's basically very easy. Let's say this is the property and then you see you have three bedrooms and two bathrooms. So you will basically change it into three bedrooms and two bathrooms. It's as simple as that. Then you also have a dining and a kitchen and you have a balcony. Now all this, you know, I know because I saw this property before, but if it's your property, you will know it as well. And you can add even more rooms that are not mentioned in the standard, okay? And then you can just click save and you're done. Then this the sleeping arrangement, again, we can look at in Airbnb. It's very clear, one queen, two queens, one queen. So what you will do is that you will do the queen bed in Montessor will be a double bed. So it's four double beds, okay? And then click save. Okay, so that's it. So now you're good to go. Actually, I just need to make a note about the beds. Uh, there is the queen size bed. So let's just change and put this as a four queen, queen size bed. Okay, good. So the location should be there. Yes, it's here with the full address, good. The photo should be here all 23 photos that we have basically put in Airbnb. We can change descriptions, the rates. Now here we can change the rates and decide the minimum, the default, let's say, which has been got it from Airbnb. But we can also decide for discount. Um, you cannot put a percentage, but you need to put a fixed price. So I know we have a 5% and a 25%, so you can easily calculate that, you know by doing 300 euros by seven, that's 2,100 euros, and then time 0 0.95, that will be 1,985, and that's the 5% discount. Then if you wanna do the monthly discount, so again, you will do what we did just before. So 300 euros times 30, and that will be, sorry, 300 euros times 30, it's 9,000 euros, then plus it's 25%, so that will be 75, so 6,750, that's the monthly price. But you can calculate this, you know, with whatever price you want to apply, this is an average, and then you can decide season rate later on. You can also have a price per weekend, minimum stay per week, weekday, occupancy you can charge extra per person per night you can have short stay premium if you want to have a price for three nights or five nights you can have check-in and check-out restriction you can put your sales tax vat and you can have also some notes uh, to explain your rates and policy to your guest then you go to booking settings and here basically the standard is 15 percent prepayment in Mondosol that we charge the guest and then you as the owner will contact the guest to complete the payment okay and we recommend instant booking because that's the way people wants to book nowadays but you can also choose inquiry or booking request okay so we can put uh, inquiry only if you don't want to have an instant booking even though it's recommend or booking request 
Um, now, the difference between inquiry and booking is that booking you can accept or decline. Inquiry, uh, you need to, to basically confirm with them. Then the check-in is there. Advance notice is there. Booking windows is there. The rental agreement is not here. So you can also put the rental agreement, a contract. Uh, you can also decide to put a URL if you have it somewhere and the content you will not change it this is standard they will contact Mondosol not you directly and then you can put your season rates okay and the season rates again it's uh, very si very simple to do you had a season and then you can call it whatever you want for example here we have some name um, made by the period it's not really called any season but if you want just to create this and then you basically select the same period as in in the season that you want so that will be from 8th of January now you cannot go back in time but let's just say we do it for 2021 okay and so we will go to 8th of January 2021 to uh, 7 of April 2021 okay and this will be our first season rate and then we're gonna put the price of 195 okay very simple 195 minimum nights done then we can create a new season okay we will call it uh, whatever it's called here so April 8 to April 13 we're just creating some standard um, some random okay it, it doesn't matter now it's just to show you so again you put here you know from April 8 to April 13 2021 8 to 13 2021 okay and then you put the price which is 350 and then the minimum night if you have and you click save and that's it so you continue to do this process until you're done okay here is basically to continue um, with this example you know I just want to show you real quick how you can do this but you can do the way you want you can even call the season with um, like summer or peak season, high season, Christmas, holidays, whatever you want to call it, it's fine. It's just up to you how you decide to price and then to name those rates. It doesn't really matter. People will see it actually. So if you want to use a different name, um, maybe more like uh, summer, winter, spring, or whatever it is, okay? So now again, we have created the period, we have named the season, and now we're gonna put the minimum price, which is 195. Uh, you can also decide to have this as a default rate if this is your basic price and then instead you can create a season rate when the price goes above the season the the default rate okay so that's it I, it's uh, enough for now thank you very much for watching and for listening in mondosol